Ooh, the stakes are extremely high. I tell you what, they don't get higher for Kang. It's now or never for him. It just seems like the stakes get higher and higher. With each challenge that Scott Lang has to face, this one is uh, particularly bad. It is a matter of life and death for the Ant-Man Wasp hero troop. It's the next phase of Marvel. I think it's pretty awesome because you have that juxtaposition of like the everyman and like Cassie Lang's just this regular girl. She's trying to help, follow her heart, and she makes a huge mistake. The stakes are the highest stakes that Scott and Hope have faced yet. You know, these two maybe unlikely Avengers are going to be the first to face off with Kang the Conqueror. If you look at it on paper, oh, Ant-Man and Wasp are going up against Kang, it does not necessarily seem like a fair fight. Is this gonna stay with us, right? Yeah, of course. I usually try and swipe something. Honestly, for the first time ever in my career, no, I didn't. Normally, I'm a total thief on set. Well, I got my helmet. I probably stole a pen or two. I should have stolen a suit or something cool like that. Gentura, who's one of our freedom fighters, there's a Gentura spear. I may or may not have uh, one of those spears. I didn't really get to take much of anything from the set. You know, a lot of times in this thing, we're, we're just shooting on like mounds of dirt. <laughs> And, uh, and it's some imagined environment. The balance between the humor, the action, the effects, and the personal story of the family sort of regathering itself and getting back together again after a major crisis like the quantum realm. I am most excited for fans to see the quantum realm. It is beautiful. I'm really excited for fans to see Cassie Lang. I want them to love Cassie Lang as much as I do. I want them to see this new phase of her and this legacy, this new legacy. I'm most excited to be uh, the director who gets to introduce Kang the Conqueror to the MCU because I was a fan of Kang in the comic books when I was a kid. You know, Jonathan Majors is a force to be reckoned with. We both can be perceived as very, very serious. We both have very strong wills and very strong drives. We differ where he prefers to conquer and I prefer to create. He also is a lot smarter than I am. He's better than me in every way, actually, except for the fact that I'm a good guy and he's not. Well, I'd always like to think I could be a scientist. I mean, math was a good subject for me. I think I have kind of a similar dry wit, kind of an analytical mind, sort of sardonic, sarcastic. And I would love to kick ass, but you know, those things dwindle as we get to a certain age. As he would say, it was wicked. He's so cool. He's such a beautiful artist and actor and an inspiration to work with. And he brought it every day. He really cares. He does this really cool thing where I want to punch him in the face and give him a hug at the same time. I really enjoy being on set with Jonathan. He brings a big energy. And it was really fun to play off of him. He's so dark and heavy and intense. and. You know, it brings something different out in my character, so that was really fun. He injected this kind of intensity and energy to the proceedings. He has a way of playing this part and trying to fill the shoes of Kang, which are not easy shoes to fill. Jonathan Majors and I talked a lot before we ever set foot on, on stage to shoot about what it would be like to be in the presence of someone who didn't experience time in a straight line. And when he speaks, it's very deliberate and there's not a wasted word. We especially like the idea of putting that energy up against Paul Rudd's Scott Lang, who can be a ball of sort of enthusiastic or nervous energy as the uh, story calls for, but like the idea that his joking is, he's not gonna be able to deal with this guy by cracking jokes. It was an interesting thing as the character of Scott where sometimes he's just being quirky or making some joke and then on to the next thing. To have somebody that was, was not reacting to that at all. And so it made for this kind of imbalance that was unique to us as actors to work on and fun to shoot. It's illuminating. Like it just lights me up in such a way where like my whole body and brain just feels so excited. I feel spoiled as well. And also a deep responsibility to tell these stories and advocate for this character. That's a huge mantle to take up. I feel like I'm ready and uh, I'm focused and I know I have the support to do it.